I'm recording. All right, main uh, main oven operating screen basically gives you the opportunity to set your transmitter power levels from each each transmitter independently. Shows the power level, what the set points are. Here we got showing the pulses on, which is another screen that shows the top, the power percentage of drop, the whole period, the high power period, and then I can turn the pulse off from here, which changes that state. Um, transmitters, basically you got full control of each transmitter, showing all the I.O. and the green, uh, yellows are issues, the reds would be a fault. Um, transmitters to two, you can go right through each transmitter in the system. Shows the anode, the filament, the solenoid current settings and where they're running. You got the option to manually load. This is the load bar. With the system empty it's white. When it's fully loaded it turns green. You would see that as it fills or, or uh, empties. Um, your belt speed again is digital. Change the belt speed right there with that button. The cooling skid shows you all the I.O. that's in the cooling skid that maintains the tunnels temperature. And then you have the alarm history screen. Shows all the alarms that happen, what time of the day, the dates. Um, those can be cleared at any point or printed out. Bypasses for your transmitters to bypass them. The older systems have the manual switches. These are touch screen. And then the pulse power, you can control the drop. Each transmitter, the uh, pulse is off and on. And then you can also pulse the conveyor system if you want to have it pause when the system's in the downside of the pause mode. Maybe show how the product shows up running through the thing. So I'll, I'll uh, well, let's empty the system here once. We're going to go ahead and start the oven. You can see the oven is loading as the conveyor is moving. I'm going to speed the conveyor up here. So you can see the conveyor is loading right now and as soon as that conveyor shows product in the oven the transmitters will turn on and the power will ramp up as this section of the oven fills. That's a uh, loading and unloading process for powering up and powering down the ovens. Point up there when it starts coming up. You'll see the power coming up here. Here's your totals. The power has just come on. You'll see the uh, power levels raising as the uh, oven's filling. This is the total set point of the oven right now. There's five on each transmitter. You can see this transmitter is coming up. And you can see the percentage of the oven as it's what it's loaded. And then there's a uh, bar chart here. It shows the percentage of of a hundred what the transmitter is operating at at the current level. So all the way to the top would be 75. And then down here it shows the dwell time that the actual product's in the oven in seconds. So right now it's at six kilowatts, it's about three quarters full here. Pulse it. Sure. We're going to go to pulse power. I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to change this to 10 and 10. Turn it on. 
and you'll see the pulse is here. Now it's in reduced state, it goes to zero. Even though the oven's still running, I did not pulse the conveyor. It's in zero. Now it's come, its pulse power's on, it's powering up as it's in 10 seconds of runtime. Again, everything's moving. In 10 seconds, it's just gone back down. It's in the hold period, so it's pulsing off and on at zero to zero to 10 kilowatts. And that can be changed at the zero, it could be five or two or whatever you want. And then I'm gonna empty the oven, but I don't. Can you stop it? Yep. Cooling skid maintains the uh, expression tunnel cooling on this oven. There's only one tunnel. Polypropylene storage tank. Uh, you can see the glycol levels way down here. We have a flow switch which is monitored through the PLC. The RF detection is a four channel, four probe system. There's two probes, there's only one probe installed on this one right now, which is the TH1 probe. Uh, but you can use up to four probes on this. Heat exchanger is a plate, uh, welded plate heat exchanger. It is uh, city cooled through the water supply from the plant. That is controlled by the valve that is digitally monitored through the Honeywell. Whatever the set point is, we would turn the valve off and on and, and, re and reduce the water usage only needed as to maintain cool. The uh, tunnel pressure is at uh, three and a half pounds. There's a pressure switch. And then there's the thermal coupler over here. And then again, the flow switch, there's three, three uh, interlocks. And then the pump itself. This is all tied back to the PLC and all wired completely over to the main control system. No field wiring. Okay, I'm on. Uh, the basic control systems used today are Allen Bradley Compact Logics. They're a rack mount. They're a plug together rack, so there's expansion capacity just by adding cards. You can keep expanding the rack. All everything is communicating on an Ethernet hub. And this is the uh, Ethernet hub modem assembly that you can plug into the internet or your network. Or you can go through the telephone and we can update programs and access it remotely from from our office. All DIN rail mounted, uh, 24 volt. Uh, the BFD running the drive motors, your oven architecture circuit, the door interlock circuits, and then we use all wide Mueller push lock uh, finger safe with complete labeling of all components and all wires and all terminal blocks. And these are all complete ferrule construction. All the wires are connected using ferrule tips on the wire. There's no loose wire ends. And then your panel view from the inside, the touch screen. And okay. You know, see some of these big ovens with 15 transmitters sitting on the network. You got a big hub in there. We're, we're going. Basic uh, Amtec transmitter doesn't have a processor in it. It's remote to the processor in the oven. Three meters, analog meters for your filament solenoid and your anode currents. Other than that, you really have a, a bypass remote switch and then just a basic e-stop. Control systems are all accessed from outside the main enclosure. That all, again, is through a uh, that Flex I.O. module, which is an Ethernet-based module that's talking to the processor remotely. Uh, the filament and solenoid SCR controllers that are digitally controlled. The basic 24 volt power supply and uh, again the weed mueller type construction with all finger safe. The Honeywell controller is similar to the one in the, tran in the oven and it's controlling the fluid on the outside of the transmitter. Um, the inside of the transmitter, high voltage section. Very rare to even have to 
to get inside other than if you had a high voltage breakdown. Dual uh, circuit breakers with lockouts so the high voltage can be locked down. Still run the transmitter. As a safety feature, it's in shunt trip right now, so it's off. The uh, circulator, 75 kilowatt. Water load circulator, magnetron. Our sixth bridge, uh, diode bridge up there. That's a 30 kV 4 amp diode. Very open construction and lit for easy maintenance. All your field wiring comes in your conduit, it's already installed, so you don't have to run any wires, they all come in land right on the front bar. All your field wiring, your field wiring lands right here. That's it. The field wiring is all done with the, from the outside. Comes through that conduit okay. on top, yep. which is hooked right here, runs through that duct, and high ties right here. Standard transformer, you still running? Yep. Standard transformer with a two and a half percent taps, but two, two taps, two and a half percent out of nominal, both up and down. Transformers are supplied at 400 volts, 50 hertz for uh, Asia or whatever voltage the market uh, that this uh, equipment's being installed in. So it would be a, a, a 380, 50. Absolutely. You don't have no more transformers to buy. This comes ready to go. Stainless, stainless Viton pump assembly with machine manifolds, pressure switches. Temperature switches, uh, pressure gauges, flow switch on the magnetron loop for the return side of the mag loop, so we got we're sure we got water through it. Again, all the uh, main ABB contactor that's turning off the high voltage. That's a, a 250 amp three phase contactor. Both your breakers, one's UVR and one's a shunt trip. Your main circuit breaker running all the pump circuits on the 480. Your transformers for control circuit voltages. And then your cooling system, as you can see, that comes through the bottom here. All the cooling's down here, and the rest is all wide open display here for, for easy working and getting into the transmitter.